All right, strategy guide for the first Soviet or Russian mission. Now, I had a strat. Uh, this was my second time running through the game on the hardcore difficulty, and, is dead. and um, the first time I'd used this one strategy, and what ended up happening were some tanks got through my lines and ended up destroying my uh, transports. Um, so I thought. Hey, I can just keep my units back, my engineer, my two engineering squads back, and have them defend right here so that won't happen. Well, what ended up happening was worse. I ended up losing up two units instead of one. So my suggestion to you when you do this is, if you're going to follow this strategy, then expect it to be a very close call. Um, this unit will make you win, though. Um, it will be a kind of a close call though in the end. What you want to do is you want to put your transports right there, um, and then get two units, uh, two engineering squads, and keep them closer to Alpha, facing forward down the oil drums, and get this unit three to move into this house right here so they can, so they can cover the side. And uh, like, like all previous engagements, the units will be complete bitches and run. So you just gotta be quite patient. Do not rush. You are on a 10 minute or 10 or 5 minute timer. I can't see. I think it's a 10 minute or 5 minute. Not sure. But um, just keep defending your base. Uh, the point of siege is to not let any engineers come into your uh, alpha base thing that you're protecting right now. So as long as you do that, you won't lose. Detected hostiles uh, are displayed on mission radar. And if there were any strategy that I would, um, I wouldn't really worry about protecting your transport because it's gonna lose because there are engineers which beat all armor. This is um, and then there are tanks, so it's like they can't really win or survive at all. Um, you want to use this unit three uh, since it's in cover, which it has substantial uh, firepower increases. And in a minute, you'll see my transports get mowed down here by tanks that come in, and which I thought was complete bullshit. They just lost their shields in a few seconds, but. I guess it, it's understandable considering they were under fire from like three or so units. Um, they ended up losing and dying. They were at about 75% health. Go to 50. Incapacitated units are useless to us, but I will try to evacuate them automatically. Um, I ended up barely getting this uh, tank unit that uh, tried to run through my lines. Luckily, I uh, got him right at the end. And there, my transports just died. And you will see soon why I shouldn't have moved my engineers back as much as I did. And then these gunships, the entire match, they didn't die. Because they use this strategy. We're halfway to mission support coming online. We just have to hold out. So, I I got pretty frustrated because of what happened to these guys. All right, now you see this unit two. This unit two gives me so much grief that it just almost made me kind of lose the mission. Um, if you end up in my situation, I would I'll, I would always recommend that you keep these guys in there. Make them fall back to the building right there that I was looking at. Um, make them fall back there if that building gets destroyed. Um, if one of your engineering, like the positions I have one and two, they're kind of close to alpha. If one of them gets killed, I would highly suggest moving uh, the one that's alive uh, back to alpha. Like all the way back to Alpha. And if their cover is destroyed, I would highly suggest you move everything back. Um, because if one of them loses their cover, then they're kind of screwed. What ended up happening, because I moved my guys back instead of keeping them up forward, the, that allowed the other engineers to get cover. So I ended up almost losing because two engineers fighting in cover. Well, 
I mean, you'll take down their shields quite quick, but other than that, it's... They're gonna end up doing a lot of damage to each other, and I believe that gunships started pitching in, as well as tanks. Um, transports, tanks, everything just started opening fire, which kind of caused them to die. Um... Everything just starts coming in. Um, the order of killing, I'm not exactly sure if this is true or not, but I would take out tanks first because they do the most, er, well, all units end up doing the same, gunships, tanks, and transport end up doing the same amount of damage to infantry, so I would suggest going for whichever one is closer, or for that matter, whichever one is weaker, um, and by weaker I mean they have less health, not tanks are more strong than transports, which is not true. Um, Alright, so here, I make Unit 2 fall back to the thing, because part of their cover got destroyed. And I thought, hey, if these guys are going to move up, then they're going to die, because they'll have absolutely no cover. And I didn't want my engineers to be in that situation. that same gunship unit that we has been there the whole time. Cover. And it ends up being the last way. unit to kill. And then, right there, was when their engineers went out of cover. And they just got destroyed. And then once your mission timer reaches zero seconds, seconds, you can deploy units. Right I deployed a gunship and a tank. Um, mainly just I deployed now. the gunship because I wanted to get rid of that other gunship unit. After your mission timer reaches zero seconds, a bunch of reinforcements will come in, and so will attacking units, but it's very easy to get rid of because All of the large amount of reinforcements you have. Sometimes if units are retreating, if you're doing, well, I found this with every unit, that they don't immediately rush, which really is weird in my opinion. Like, if I tell them to attack a gunship squad and then leave them alone, and then that gunship squad they're attacking retreats, they'll have a hard time uh, moving and attacking them. I don't know if that's game or if it's anything like that. But remember to use your little combat triangle you have that gunships be tanks. I deployed a tank squad just in case. Um, some transports came in, I wasn't sure. We start the tank. Um, we will engage. So everything was dead now, except for that gunship squad. And it ends up going for another minute. I uh, kind of sped this up. Because it was annoying me how long they were surviving for. Look at this red, completely red health, and they still survived maybe another good 30 seconds. Makes no sense, but it happened. And uh, once you mop up the rest of the units, that's the uh, end of the mission. We start attack. This is Rhino. All beasts ready to fight. Acceptable losses. All hostile destroyed. This is headquarters. I compliment you on a superb military response to an attack we never saw coming. How did things go at Kennedy? And